Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Blog. Today we are going to carry on with mechanism and try and do some ore quintupling. So let's get started. So in this chest I've actually got the machines that we're going to use in the order that we shall put them down in. So we're going to start with the enrichment chamber here. The enrichment chamber will give you ore doubling. If you have a look at the uses of this, if you were going to the enrichment chamber here, we shall just take an ore and we can use clumps and we can use ores. There's actually quite a few recipes and hopefully we can find it quickly. Here we go. So that's an aluminium cluster. We'll give you two aluminium dust like that. So let's put this one down first of all. This is the first level of machines that we actually need. Did I not take it out of there? I didn't. Right, okay. Let's take it out. Uh, and the recipe for this, by the way, let's look at the recipe as well. That's fairly important. It's quite low level. It's just basic control circuits, steel casings, and iron and redstone. So it's the least expensive of the machines. So that's the earliest one. So put it down here, and then we should put into here some iron clusters. Let's just put one iron cluster into here like that. And then we should get out of here some dust. That's running along. Let's just check what we get. At the moment, there's just some iron clumps and some lithium in here. And then we've got these two iron dusts, which is great. So the next one up is... Oh, things are happening over here, by the way. Uh, as 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 this plant grows, produce some cre creeper essence. The creeper essence will come through here. And then, actually, it's already into this machine here. And we'll make some... Um, I'm not sure it's making that, to be honest, because it's empty. So, <laughs> oops, it'll go into here. But it's too fast. Oh, sulfuric, sulfuric trioxide is what he's making. Okay. I should put some muffling upgrades in. I have got them already prepared. So the next thing we're going to have a look at is the next level up. So if we have a look at the uses of iron clusters, for, for example, and then we have a look at the machines. What we're interested in is really just the machines for mechanism. So we have the chemical dissolution chamber. That's the mechanism one. And that produces dirty iron slurry. Not what we want to start with then you've got the chemical injection chamber which produces four iron shards so that's all quadrupling for the chemical injection chamber and we've got we've done the enrichment chamber which does doubling the purification chamber which produces these iron clumps and then the uses of the iron clumps if we can put those through a crusher and that will produce dirty iron dust and then we could put these through the enrichment chamber to produce iron dust so we'll get through Three. So what we need now is two machines. So we need the crusher and we need the purification chamber. Like this. And these, by the way, are just the ultimate factory versions of what we're producing here. Maybe I'll put them into play. I'm not 100% sure. So we should have the crusher. Yep. Which we can't do anything with as such um, for ores. And then we can put down the purification chamber. Now the purification chamber needs oxygen and power, of course. So let's go and get some oxygen pumped into here. The oxygen should be coming out of not the rotary condenser. Oops, thrown something away. Should be coming out of this electrical separator. So we can drag some pipes. Um, I think we can drag the pipe straight down through here. Yes, we can. So let's just do that. So all I need is some pressurized, what oh, I forgot to say, basic pressurized tubes. I'll have to remove this because it's in the way. That's fine. So basic pressurized tubes, I should have some with us. If not, basic pressurized tubes, fantastic. If not, we will just make some more because everything's programmed up nowadays. I've got, I can make almost everything I need from mechanism. So let's go back here and start over here. So this is where it wants to come into. Now I've got two choices. I can either, I'll be putting another machine down here probably. Let's go, let's start from the top and work our way across the back over here. Like that. And then we could simply plug this into this one like this. It might be putting oxygen into machines that we don't want it to do so. In which case we're going to have to un unlink this together. So we should simply take the configurator, press shift and N, and it doesn't really matter, items will do fine. And then we could shift onto this. But when, by the way, when you look at items here, you can see this is an output phase because it's red. An input phase would be blue. No, those are the input faces because an output face will be red. So let's just shift click this off here twice. 
three times and then it disconnects so it's not going to try and put oxygen into the rotary condenser which it doesn't want um, and the other machine was, was the one we actually did want it into which is this the chemical infuser so now we should have some oxygen in here let's check we have so it's full of oxygen so let's just take out of here what we've got at the moment it's two iron dust uh, and just put in one iron cluster into the purification chamber and whoops and watch what happens so that's going to produce three of these iron clusters and then from the iron clusters they're going to be get pushed through and like that as you see everything almost everything in the me mechanism is going from left to right so by putting it down in that order then it makes life a lot easier you can just put it down left to right so those are going to produce dirty iron and the dirty iron is then going to get in, in processed in the enrichment chamber uh, and we can make these things go faster and we could upgrade the machines so there you go so now we're starting to get we shall get three iron dusts so let's go back while that's running let's have a quick look at the next one so the next one of these was um let's have a look at the uses of iron clusters because that's what we're actually after we want the the times four one so that's the is the chemical injection chamber so the iron shards will come out of a, a clump you can also use um, iron ore and then that's going to go to these iron clumps and the iron clumps are then going to be processed. Let's go back again to go on to see what machine. So that's the purification chamber. So it's as simple as putting the chemical injection chamber beside the purific purification chamber. So let's put down this shulker box and get the purif oh, chemical washer, chemical injection chamber. I thought I had those in the right order. Obviously, I haven't. <laughs> so now we can take this and we can put one of these into here. But by the time look at this now that we should have three so we've now got five of these like that so the next one is we just put one of these into here we should get four so this is taking hydrogen and chloride so we need to put in feed this machine with hydrogen chloride hopefully we have enough to process this through yes we do so they're coming into here like this they they don't take oxygen from what i can see and then that will produce these iron clumps, which are then going to be crushed into iron, uh, dirty iron dust, as we, as we saw last time, basically. And then they will get processed in the enrichment chamber to be iron dust. So this needs hydrogen chloride. So hydrogen chloride should be a byproduct. We should have hydrogen chloride be made here. So we need to take this hydrogen chloride out of here and then bring it across into this machine so let's do that again it's another it's another gas in fact there's it's coming out of here as well oh that's hydrogen isn't it the hydrogen chloride is not being used at the moment except for in here so let's take it out of here so again i need some pressurized tubes basic pressurized tubes are probably quite adequate for this oh yeah we can connect it like that oh that's probably better so what i'll do is i'll just break this one off here then because we don't need it coming through twice, do we? Like that. And then we can bring this along down into this machine here. So let's just do that. In fact, I think what we'll do is we'll do it across the top like this. Yeah, that's connecting in. Now, that's actually a problem because now this pipe has got oxygen in it, which we don't want it to do. So what we do is we break this off here like this. Three. You have to click it three times. And then you can break this pipe and put it back down again. So let's do that this time it won't connect because we've broken this particular connection i don't think you can do that in advance um well maybe you can i'm not 100 percent sure if we've tried it one two three and then we put on the pipe here it should not connect like that oh yes we can do it in advance and so that's even better if you know you're going to do that otherwise they've just wasted a bit of oxygen that's not the end of the world so let's carry on with this and bring this back now. We want to connect this into the hydrogen chloride pipe over here. It might connect, no, it, won't. it might connect into here. It doesn't matter if it does. We could actually use this hydrogen chloride in here, but we'll just get it out. So it's not connecting in. 
and then bring it across over here. You probably could do this without connecting in here at all by simply um, placing a piece of pipe on and then making sure it doesn't connect in. So that's it. But I think this will now have some in it, some hydrogen chloride if we press sulfuric acid. Okay, so it doesn't have any hydrogen chloride, so that's good. So nothing went into that. So this has now got to accept from the top. It's not accepting hydrogen chloride, so we need to go to the side configuration and say that the top is input for gases. Oh, that's strange, it's not inputting it. So which means it's probably not... Do oh, I don't quite understand sometimes why it doesn't connect in. Because these are definitely gases, so it should push it out into here. Unless this pipe has got nothing in it, which it hasn't got nothing in it. So let's double check this again. Side configuration. Items. Gas. So all side, all faces are gas, uh, are gas. In fact, you could check that easily enough by taking the configurator, pressing Shift and N and going to gases. Like that. And then we should be able to see that it's an input face in here. So it should be inputting it into here. And it isn't doing. Okay, strange. Uh, I'm not, I said I don't know why that's not doing that. We could force it in, of course. Let's do that. So that should now push it into this. Let's have a check if that's actually worked. No, it's not coming in. <laughs> ah! I don't understand why. There's no transport configuration. This is not. It's not important, and it's anyway. It's strict input is off. Gases. It says can't eject. That's fine. We don't care about that. And electricity. So the top should be input. Weird. Oh, this doesn't look like hydrogen chloride anyway. This is bl blue, and this is oh chlorine. Aha. Okay, that's clear. Okay, stupid me. The, what I have to do now is to get rid of all these bits of pipe and break them back again. Um, we can do that here. So the hydrogen chloride, you probably spotted this already, by the way. So the hydrogen chloride is being produced. Hydrogen chloride is coming into this machine. So it must be an output from here. Ah, okay, yes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to connect this back into here. So maybe I just break this pipe here, put it back again. So this time I can come along here and break this pipe. If you press shift on here, it's got 880 millibuckets. So what we can do is we can take a gas tank and we can empty this pipe out with that. So let's do that first of all, a gas tank. I have got some gas tanks stored in this backpack here, like this. And what we can do is we can put this gas tank on top of this pipe here and it should f probably not feed it in so we have to change the faces so we want input from the bottom like that and now it's got chlorine in here and this is now empty fantastic so we can now break away this and we can break all this pipe up here as well so that's now empty it's got no pipe nothing in it so that's great so we can reconnect this back again ha ah. And what I want to do first of all is connect it into here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this pipe doesn't connect as we did last time. Three. So it's set to none. So then we can, oh, that says input, which is gas. So we can shift right click this. And that's input and output. And now it's set to input. I want to actually want it output, don't I? Output blue. That's right. So then I can put the pipe on here like this. And you'll see this is now connecting in. And this has now got hydrogen chloride in it. So... Sometimes it's well worth showing mistakes because I wasn't understanding what I was doing wrong. So this should now be full. It is now full of hydrogen chloride. Oh, okay. So what I can then do is I can change this face here to being uh, not push and pull. So let's just do that. I should probably easiest way to do it is break it in this case because you might not be able to reach the bottom side. Let's try it anyway. So if you press three times, it's gone away. And then here you have to sort of catch the bottom of it. Oh, there we go. So that's how you can do put it back again like this. So this is now we can now got all quadrupling. So the next thing we need to look at is all is the next level up. 
So in the backpack here, because it's got automatic pickup of stuff on, it's picking up stuff that I'm dropping, which is fine. And you'll see I've got lots of upgrades in here like this. The chlorine that I produce extra will also be in this in here, this gas tank. I can put it back into the system um, by simply put it, putting the, the gas tank on top of here and making it an output. We'll leave that for the time being. So the next thing, let's look at the uses of the iron cluster again. And let's go to the second page. One, one. So the next one is the chemical dissolution chamber. So this produces, you put in one of these with some sulfuric acid, you will then get dirty iron slurry. So the uses of the dirty iron slurry, we have to go through this process, is we need a chemical washer, and that will meet clean iron slurry. And then after the chemical washer, we need a chemical crystallizer to produce these iron crystals. The iron crystals will then, and you may have noticed that this is 200 millibuckets. Let's go back here, because one of these produced 1,000. So that's your five times. So let's put those down. So we need the first thing we need to do is to put down the let's get the let's get the machines out of here. It wasn't the chemical washer; it was the chemical crystallizer, crystallizer, and then it was the chemical washer, and then it's the the solution chamber. Let's put that down here like this. We can't put anything into this directly yet, so uh, I have to be careful. Maybe chemical dissolution chamber. Maybe you have to be a bit careful with this. Let's just do this first of all. Let's go down to this block here and then come underneath this. And we want to make sure that we don't connect in. So you can sh press shift three times on the next two blocks. And it's still it says none. Then all three of those. So we're not going to connect any of those machines into here. I can fill that hole up again later on. So let's put it down. Because I don't want the um, sulfuric acid entering into this. So let's get that onto there like that. So that's the chemical crystallizer. Then we need the chemical washer. And you'll see they're not connecting in here. And then the last thing we need is, is the chemical, chemical purification chamber. Like that. So this has got sulfuric acid into it. So this needs sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is coming out of Actually, it's coming out at the end of these machines, isn't it? So the last machine here, this should be producing sulfuric acid. It is. In fact, the sulfuric acid is going into this quantum entangler. So either we can put a link from the, a, a pipe from here to here, that might be one way, or we can simply put it out through the middle here, which is what I'm intending to do. So let's take the basic pressurized tube here. And that didn't connect in, but it will do. So let's click this along three times, and that should then connect into the chemical dissolution chamber. So all that really means now is this side on this one is incorrect. So let's go to side configuration. So I've got output set to the front, but I really want the output set to the, to the right as well. If we can get it that way. And auto eject on. So this time it should be outputting some. Uh, hasn't done it yet, why not? That should be connecting into here. Ah, oh, that wasn't gases. I'd make that mistake quite often. Let's do that. So now the output is going here. And now it's connected in, as you can see. And we should be getting some sulfuric acid in here. But that's already full of sulfuric acid. So let's take, an, let's take one of these. Put this into here. Now let's go and get out of here so we should have four from the previous run which we have yes fantastic and let's go and put one into here and then we should get five out of here see this runs reasonably quickly it's got no upgrades in it yet we could put some upgrades into this so this is ah oh, this needs water oh, life's getting complicated <laughs> but water we do have so i'm going to have to bring the water down here like this so let's do that now water is fluid pipe, not, not gas. What do I have? I have pressurized tube, is it that's transport, ultimate mechanical pipes. Mechanical pipes will do just fine. 
But it doesn't matter if they're ultimate or not. Because we're not so we can just connect this up to here like this. So we're getting water coming into here. I want the water to come into the washer, don't I? So that it comes down here. Which connects in nicely. And then we just need to hopefully yes we can do that like that so it's not going to go anywhere else except for in here and as you can see these pipes are filling filling up with water and it takes a lot of water these ultimate pipes so have a look now we should be getting stuff coming into here we've got two already and as you can see we've got one more iron shard to process producing an iron chunk the iron chunk comes along here and eventually we'll come into here so we've got one more dirty so there must be yeah three already plus four but just wait a second and that'll be done in this pack it's less useful to do or quintupling um because you do get the clusters which is quite a nice start and you can actually make that fairly quickly to or um tripling but with the sluices the, is, the sluices seem to be the better way to go because you're getting lots of things all the time so that is it that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it next time we shall carry on with these processes uh, what i'd like to produce is some thistle fuel so until then i wish you all the best bye for now